Would you like to learn how to play the handpan, but your economic possibilities in this moment are limited? Today, we talk about a low price solution with which you can approach this instrument. Hello everyone, here we are at a new episode of this video blog. I'm Raffaello from CorsoHandVan.com and I'm Filippo. In this episode we will go to see the steel tongue drum, also called harmonic drum or tank drum. This instrument is either percussive and melodic. Clearly the level between this and the handpan is almost abysmal. But at the same time, if you have no money to buy a handpan, which can be very expensive, even if in our opinion is totally worth it, we can take this option, then buy one of these instruments from 50 to 100 euro. So, to start to move your hands on an instrument, start making your first musical experience, learning the percussive touch, moving between the notes, and then maybe in the future, if you decide to buy a handpan, you already know the basic. The main difference between these two instruments is that an handpan is obtained from a dome, which is in fact all hammered and tuned, as we already have explained in another video of this blog that you can go and see. And every note is perfectly in tune with all his harmonics, and this makes it so intriguing. Besides, there are also all the other percussive zones where we can go to create effects. Passing to the steel tone drum, we see instead that it's derived from this tank. Some of them are also handcrafted starting from gas tank and then carved, where each notch is a note. The sound quality, as Raffaello said a few moments ago, is very far from a handpan. However, it also has its own quality sound, and you may like it or not, but we mainly watch the technical part here, then how to use the instrument to learn how to play, and then maybe one day buy a handpan with already the basics acquired. The layout of the notes on this instrument can vary a lot, unlike a handpan, where we have a layout of the scale which is well defined, in this tank drum, tongue drum and harmonic drum, it can vary according to the person who builds them. For example, this has a central note just like in the handpan and then the scale, instead of starting from the bottom, starts with the first note in the high part and then it goes under and then resumes back just like the handpan. In other tongue drum instead the layout can be crossed. Here we don't have a central note, but we have the note positioned as you see in the example. If you're looking for these instruments on the internet, you will surely find them with this layout. In other tongue drums, usually on those handcrafted, we find the layout just like the one of the handpan, and this makes them simpler to play. Another difference between the steel tongue drum and the handpan is the sustain of the notes. The notes are much longer in the steel tongue drum. Have you heard how the sustain goes for a while? In the handpan, on the contrary, it stops quickly. The sound improves considerably if played with drumsticks. Let's go and try it. I go fast. So it manages to have much more volume and the sound is clearer, while with the fingers 
the trend is to play a little more metallic sound, while with the rubber drumstick it's rounder and more harmonious. It doesn't have the percussive area like the slap and other effects because it doesn't have much space. In this case here we have the ding. The fact that there is a ding is a good thing, not every steel tongue drum has a ding. We have a metallic zone around the ding, however it's really small. And takes a lot of the overtones of the other notes. If we play it here as a slap, it doesn't sound very good. Even if this instrument has several limits if compared to a handpan, let's see how to use it to learn to play. But first, let's see another instrument, always part of the tone drunk family, which is the Rav Vast. The Rav Vast is always part of the steel tongue drum group, since it has these cuts and it generates the notes. However, the sound quality here is almost comparable to an handpan, since each note is perfectly tuned with all its overtones. The sound is different from that of an handpan, because it is much longer, full-bodied and therefore also the way we approach playing changes, but it can be one worthy alternative, even if in any case the price is not that much lower than a handpan. Now that you've heard the differences between these types of instrument, let's move on to a little free lesson with which you can begin to practice what we teach in our courses on a thong drum. Well, let's play this simple rhythm on this instrument, and we will use a counting. We need to count to keep the tempo to find out where we are, and also to have a rhythmic continuity. It's very simple and it will be uno, due, tre, e quattro. Let's start by choosing some notes that match each other. Even here each instrument is different. In the handpans scale have a precise layout, while the tongue drum, being constructed in a different way, can have different layout. We must go and hear the notes that play well together. Usually this instrument has a specific scale and its notes are fine together, but you will hear that there are some notes that go very well together and are much more harmonious. And others that instead doesn't give us much satisfaction. For instance, on this tongue drum, compare note 4 to 5, to note 1 to 3. At least note 1 3 has a slightly sweeter melody. While 4 5 is a bit harsh. Ok, let's do this exercise. In the first round I will use the rubber sticks and I'm going to use notes 1 and 3, 
then quickly 5, and then 2 and 4. And I'll go now on the other notes. As I said before, choose notes that can sound well together and try to do it the same way. Uno, due, tre, e quattro. 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 At this point we can do the same thing using your hands instead of the rubber stick. We use the thumb or the forefinger, as you can see also on other free videos where we have explained your rhythms of the handpan and how to play them. Here we use the same technique you can look at in our video. Let's play now. In the meantime, practice on this first rhythm. Then, if you are interested in learning to play this magnificent instrument, we have created an online course divided in four levels plus a masterclass and completely translated in English, where you will be followed step by step from the basics until you become an advanced player. Our four levels of video course have all been recorded using the handpan, but we created an added supplemental video if you have one steel tongue drum. So, you can adapt what you see in the course on the instrument that you have. In this video, we showed you how with a very cheap instrument, this is the cheapest one we found online, it's about 70 euros, can be enough to start learning. There are, however, handcrafted tongue drums in any case of superior quality than this one. For information about our courses and online video courses, or if you are just curious about the handpan, you can go to our website www.corsohandpan.com and you will find various sections, one of which is dedicated to a blog where we write articles about the handpan world and for instance about microphones, recording, scales, bind and so on. You can access through a free trial course with some lesson taken from our video courses. Here, you can find us again on www.corsohandpan.com Bye for now and good music!